On December 15, 1967, the silver bridge that connected Point Pleasant, West Virginia to Galapolis, Ohio mysteriously collapsed, resulting in 46 people dying in the freezing waters of the Ohio River. The cause of the collapse has since been disputed as a design error, but locals who were there on that fateful day recall something else. Something far more... sinister. Eyewitnesses reported seeing a humanoid figure, almost seven feet tall, with a pair of large black wings spanning almost 15 feet from point to point, covered in black feathers, with massive glowing red eyes. Some reported that this creature was responsible for the collapse of the Silver Bridge, but others claim it was warning the victims of the incoming incident. Friend or foe, we may never know. While no physical evidence of the creature has been found, true believers have given it the name Mothman. While the rest of the world chose to follow the herd and not believe, I, a lone wolf, dared to think differently. My name is Chad Reese, and for the past 28 years, I've dedicated my life to proving the existence of Mothman. I've studied hundreds of eyewitness accounts and photographs, and have concluded that Mothman, like birds, travels with the seasons, moving with the heat. And if my calculations are correct, he'll be passing through our city of Statesboro, Georgia, on this very night. So tonight, me and my crew are going to go out with our equipment to prove once and for all that Mothman is real. But before we do, I've consulted my friend and top Mothman expert, Mel Maddox, about the creature in order to better understand him. Hi, Mel. Thanks for coming on our program and talking with us. Hey, Chad. No problem. I'm happy to be here and to share my knowledge. As am I, Mel. So I guess my first question would be, who or, I suppose, what is Mothman? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, that's a great question. So Mothman, as far as we know, is theorized to have been born in the 1940s as a relatively normal man. But due to the results of some secret government experiments that were theorized to have been conducted in the 1960s, he was transformed into the strong handsome, beautiful, and sexy Mothman that we know today. Very interesting, Mel. Thank you. And do you have any advice for my crew and I going out on our hunt for Mothman tonight? Uh, Mel? Uh, Mel, you there? Well, it seems like our connection with Mel may have been interrupted, but we thank him for coming on our program and sharing his knowledge with us. You're welcome. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chad Reese, and on this historic event, we are going to prove once and for all that Mothman exists. So follow me as we make history. The first thing I'd like to do is a mating call to try and attract him to the area and let him know that it is safe for him to show himself. So we've been camping out here for a couple of hours now. No signs yet, but I've heard a couple of suspicious sounds. Could be him, but I'm starting to think it may just be some local wildlife. Um, but we're gonna stay. Look at that! Get that! Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see that? Did you get that? Yeah. Did you get that on camera? I think so. We go. Okay, we gotta go. Go 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 go. saw could have possibly been the Mothman, but we're going to try and stay quiet and stay calm as to not scare it away. I'm going to go investigate over here. 
you stay right here, okay?